every summer has a story and this summer will certainly be remembered as one of the hottest in living memory. But has the property market finally cooled and are we potentially heading for a crash? I'm Alex and this is your summer market update for Chepstow and the surrounding areas. This summer, for the first time in two years, has finally felt a little more normal. We're packing our suitcases and jetting off on our holidays. We're dusting off our tents to lose ourselves at long-awaited festivals. And everyone you speak to seems to know someone who's finally able to get married. What's also feeling a little more normal is the pace of the property market. Over the last two years, we have seen unprecedented demand for homes. With the race for space, low interest rates and stamp duty holidays only adding fuel to the already fiery market. According to Rightmove, the price of property coming to the market has hit its sixth consecutive record of 369,000, up 0.4% in the month, with over 433,000 homes in the UK changing hands in the first four months of 2022, making this the third busiest start to a year since 2007. The number of new sellers coming to the market is up by 13% compared to this time last year giving more choice for buyers. Although the amount of available property to buy is still 40% down on July 2019. However, buyer demand is still up 26% over the same period, though down 7% on last year's frenzied market, with agents widely reporting fewer inquiries, viewings and offers per property compared to this time last year. So what effect is this all having on the local property market? In Monmouthshire, between May 2021 and May 2022, the average price of a property has increased by 14.4% on average, rising from 297,000 to 340,000. Detached homes saw the biggest increase with 15.2%, a rise from 428,000 to 493,000. Semi-detached properties increased from 246,000 to 282,000, which was equivalent to 14.6%. Terrace saw a rise from 202,000 to 229,000, an increase of 13.3%, with flats rising from 150,000 to 166,000, a rise of 10.6%. However, a slightly worrying statistic is that between March 2021 and March 2022, the amount of completed transactions has fallen by a whopping 67%, falling from 202 to 66 in Monmouthshire. For many, the question is when, not if, the property market will begin to correct itself and whether we will see another market crash like we did in 2008. Any gear change is liable to be slow and steady and not an emergency break, as was the case in the global financial crisis of 2008. Forecasters still anticipate positive price growth over the course of the year. Market fundamentals remain strong. A strong desire to move remains in the minds of many. And there is a shortage of properties coming to the market. With such an imbalance remaining between supply and demand, house prices look like they will remain underpinned. But with the increasing cost of borrowing and the current wider economic backdrop, this may cause buyer demand to continue to cool throughout this year, all a bit gradually. So if you're thinking of buying or selling a home this year, why don't you get in touch? I'd love to have a chat with you.